day 67, harvest of unholiness. The promise of eternal judgment and hell is not fun to talk about, but the somber reality is re relayed by our Saviour Jesus. He is our Saviour because He saves us from our sin and from eternal damnation in hell. Hell brings separation, but Jesus brings reconciliation. Hell brings torment, but Jesus brings peace. Hell brings darkness, but Jesus brings light. Hell burns, but heaven heals. The same loving Lord who promises heaven also promises hell. Indeed, heaven is sweeter because of the sour taste, eternal separation from God leaves on the lips. We begin our experience of hell on earth when we choose our own way instead of God's way. Separation from God here on earth is a persecutor of separation to separation from the Almighty in eternity. Hell is a fearful place of loneliness that lacks love and security. An angel from heaven will sweep the sickle of judgment on earth, harvesting unholy grapes. He will do this destined for God's wine breast of wolf. I will show you whom you sh should fear. Fear him who, after your body has been killed, has authority to throw you into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Luke 12, verse 5. The fear of the Lord brings focus to his holiness and to our own holy condition outside of Christ. You may experience the walk of men because you choose to fear God, but better to be known as a God-fearing man or woman than to experience the wrath of God. The power of man looks powerless in the presence of the one who has the power to cast the unsaved into hell. Sinners in the hands of a holy God desperately needs his grace. You and I are blessed to have the opportunity to believe in Jesus Christ as the Son of the living God. He saves us not from hell only, but also from the sins from ourselves, but by his sacrificial love. He exchanges the eternity in an unrighteous hell for righteous heaven. Yes, you can repent on your deathbed, but why not start heaven's journey now? Hell's fury is for the faithless, but when you walk by faith, you have only the Lord to fear. Therefore now there is no condemnation for those who are in Jesus Christ, because through Christ Jesus, the law of God, the Spirit, who gives life, has set you free from the law of sin and death. Romans 8 verse 1 to 2 Lord, give me a holy boldness and uncommon compassion to warn the unholy of your wrath to come.